Hey friends, thanks for joining us. The question tonight, to parent or to work? That is the impossible question millions of Americans are facing day after day after day in this world of COVID-19. When this all started, it was a no-brainer. Everyone go home, everyone stay safe, and we did whatever we had to do to get through the emergency. But now it's months later and parents are running on fumes. And with the fate of school still hanging in the balance for the coming year, a New York writer decided it was time for better or worse to start the conversation about the unsustainability, in her opinion, of working from home and parenting full time. In the COVID-19 economy, you can have a kid or a job. You can't have both. That was the title of the opinion piece Deb Perlman, a New York City food blogger working from home with two kids, went with to lay bare the struggles she and so many are facing. Among friends, talking to other parents, you know, knowing what I'm experiencing on Facebook and secret mom groups, um, the conversation we've been having over the last few months is, what are we going to do? I mean, how are we supposed to like do our jobs and have our kids at home for months on end? It's impossible. Agree with Deb or not, her essay struck a nerve and gave voice to the issue. How can a person parent at home full time with schools out and daycare either not an option to get into, afford or not one that feels safe and work a job an employer once worked at full focus and full attention? What's absolutely egregiously unfair, outrageous that it's happening is just that you can say that businesses can reopen, but kids can't go anywhere. It basically just tells a generation of working parents that it's fine if we lose our jobs, our insurance and our livelihoods, you know, while we figure this out. And I don't think that's that's not OK. Deb says since her essay published, she's heard from hundreds of people. Parent after parent who's like, I just left my job because I can't do it. I can't have my kids sitting on screens all day, being bored, being miserable, being crappy. Today, I heard from some of you, too, after posting her piece on social media. You told me trying to make this work is heartbreaking. A work from home mom wrote saying, I'm a distracted parent and a poor employee right now. And a voice Deb readily admits she isn't. And one she can't imagine how hard this is for is that of the single parent or the other she wonders about. The worker called back to the job site. How could you go back to work if you don't have anywhere to put your kids all day? Put them. Like, that's how we talk about children's livelihoods. I mean, I just need to put them somewhere. Yeah. Like, I just need a place to put them. Like, that's not, like, that's such, you don't even get to make good decisions. You just have decisions. Deb, whose work is all online, knew before she published her work one of the lines of pushback she would get. So she addressed it before it came. You hear that, why did you have kids if you can't take care of them? But again, not looking to the world to take care of my kids. I'm looking for the options that I've always had and to work. And for if they don't, to not have to lose my livelihood because of it. The essay was meant to put this conversation out there, not to complain entirely, but to say we have a problem here. One many parents accepted at first as a duty to deal with the first couple of months, but now we can all make sacrifices in the short term, but it would be nice if the people who make policies that are crunching us could also be looking at creative ways to keep us all afloat and in the economy. If you want to check out Deb's essay, it's in the New York Times. I attached it to the web version of this story. But that question, creative ways to keep us all afloat, that's the problem to solve here, one that will only get more urgent if school this fall isn't full time with kids and classrooms.